Okay, so I'm on mission 14, or actually, no, I just cleared mission 14, so technically 15, so there's only a couple more levels anyway. So we are probably going to beat this today. Just because some of these missions, like the last two missions, are just boss missions. You know, I love the perfect timing with you saying that you're doing a mountain climb and then Lady is climbing at the side of the tower. So are you actually, like, um, getting, like, climbing gear for that? Or, like, is it more of just a, a kind of like a hike going up a trail? Because either way, that's still really cool. Wait, how many do I have? Three. Actually, now that I think about it, I should really get another purple. I still have enough, so we'll get two. Okay, so let me see. I still do not have Swordmaster level three after all of this. throw my sword and just let it do the work. Game, why do you torture me so by literally giving me a sliver of experience left to get to Swordmaster level 3 and refuse to give it to me? I feel cheated. <laughs> it's like, if I had Swordmaster level 3, everything would be just fine. This is me just taking out my anger at the fact the game has not given me Swordmaster level 3, which I have earned! I have literally gone through half the game and you won't give me the damn ability? Well, thank you, game. Thank you. I appreciate all that you do for me, Devil May Cry 3. Your entertainment value and your frustration at not giving me what I've earned. <laughs> Well, at least that's the last of the spiders. For now. But still, I am very anger at the fact that I don't have Swordmaster level 3. Hey, Dio, welcome to the stream. Good to see ya. Just venting my frustrations at the fact that the game still has not given me Swordmaster level 3 after all the work that I put in. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but... At the same time, it just makes things a lot easier. Okay, so what does it need me to do out here? Oh, this is for switching the doors, I see. So this is where we separate reality from Hollywood. The trail I'm taking goes up the mountain to the Haystack Basin. To reach the true summit, there's an additional 46 meters up the Haystack. 
A steep rock face in Hollywood, you'll in Hollywood you'll see someone throw a grappling hook, grab rocks, climb up. In real life, that'd almost certainly get me seriously hurt or killed. My grappling hook isn't likely to be able to safely grip a slip, a slick rock face, and allow me to climb up. Basically, I have to bear climb this. It's level three. Yeah, bragging rights definitely aren't worth, like, serious injury or worse, like... But getting to where you are is an accomplishment all on its own. Like... I'm really, like, if you take photos of it, I'd very much like to see it. Because that's that sounds like it's going to be a really interesting experience for you, Cranberry. Because like I've said in previous streams, the only mountain that I've ever really been on is the um, when I went to Shenandoah National Park. And you see, I'd like to go out and just kind of explore and go to like a bunch of like trails and whatnot. But I don't know, it's all it's also kind of on me just because like I my mind's in that mindset of like Okay, I have a day off that gives me time to sleep instead of going out and doing something. Like, I don't think it's necessarily that I'm working so much. It's just that finding the motivation to actually get out and drive somewhere is just hard for me. Come on, big boy. Come to Dante. There we go. Well. I promise gameplay. I don't promise good gameplay. <laughs> Okay, so that's one of the fragments I need. Even just reaching the basin is no small feat. This is definitely not a beginner hike. It's difficult. I've been a grappling hook girl for over a year now, which makes me think I can do this, that. This is that I succeeded at Wellington in a hike with the. Yeah, like I said, definitely get photos if you can, because I'd love to see that, because it's... Um, it's a personal achievement for you, and it's something that I would love to see you share if you get the opportunity. You know what? I'm just gonna go and get hit by absolutely everything on my way. Are you kidding me right now? But then again, that's my gaming strategy is get hit by absolutely everything. Where's this gonna be for me? Okay, the rounded pathway. So I think I'm going the right way, because this is a completely uh, different version of that path. Yeah, I think it's right... no, that's the... Yep, right there. Now I just gotta find my way back. I also don't have to fight these spiders, either. Yeah, 
Alright, let's see if that brings me back to where I need to go. I don't know, I'm like genuinely angry at the fact that it didn't give me Swordmaster level 3 yet. Because like I'm so close to it, but I've literally almost beaten the game and it hasn't given me Swordmaster level 3. It is such crap. But at the very least I can take a break here and get some red orbs. I think in order to have a reliable hold in the grappling hook like in Hollywood, need something to be able to pierce deep into the rock. Well, see, the only, like, climbing thing that I've ever done was a rappel tower. And that was when I was a freshman in high school. Um, and that was a long, long time ago. I had the opportunity to do it in college back in 2020, but... Um, I got sent home. Like, all of us got sent home before that actually happened. But I would have loved to have done that. So technically the only, like, thing that I've kind of done that's sort of like that is from... Uh, a repel tower. like my camera cord. Eh, I'll just leave it. Yeah, but how are you all doing today? Like, I go back to work tomorrow after my four days off, which I'm not looking forward to, but, you know, I'm just really grateful that I was able to have four days off from starting from my birthday, just because... Like, it's not that I work too much, it's just that, like, I just run out of energy so quickly. Like... What is this? Oh. I'm not sure this is the path I'm supposed to take, but I may as well try it. Listening, working on D&D. &D. Again, D&D, &D, something that I say that I'm going to get into, but I just never find the time to actually do it. So what is down here? Save for the obvious enemies. Ooh, a blue orb fragment. I need that. Hey, I've never turned you down if you want to try it. Well, it's not so much that you've turned me down. It's just that I just have to find time to do it. It's like, I, I it's something that I'd love to be, like, I'd love to try and be involved in. But like I said, it's just, uh, part of it is just finding time for me to do it. Because, like, uh, on my days off, I'm just like, okay, am I going to stream or am I just going to sleep? And I need to kind of get out of that funk, but that's just kind of what I've been at, where I've been at for a while now. It's just kind of either streaming or sleeping on my days off. And I need to just go out and do something. Well, at least me, like, uh, going around here and exploring this map, at least, I'll be getting more orbs. So, technically, I don't have to go this way, but me kind of going out and about doing this is kind of helping me get experience.
All right, I think that's enough exploring for the time being. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, D&D, &D, like, I've heard so many good things about it. I, like, literally my dojo that I go to for martial arts, uh, my sensei, like, hosts D&D &D games. So I've got plenty of opportunities to do D&D, &D, but... Like, I think it's just, uh, I need to just find a time and day where I could just sit there and just play and, like, have somebody introduce it to me. Because, like, I can't just go in with the expectation that I know everything because I know nothing. Because the extent of tabletop games that I've really played are just <laughs> board games. <laughs> it's fun if you have people you like to hang out with. Hello, Fox friend. How are you? I like your model. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, this is just one of many um, versions that I have. I've got lots of different clothing options. This is one that I got in my last uh, stream. Um, well, thank you for popping in. At my uh, horrible uh, Devil May Cry 3 game play. So, it was, um... So, what happened was, is that the model maker took artwork that I have, so this is my design. Um, but essentially what my model maker did is they took the artwork that I sent them and they recreated my model in 3D from scratch, based on the artwork. So, yes and no, I didn't make the model, but the artwork and design is mine. Yeah, I can, like, wiggle them around, too. <laughs> Now I gotta find my way back over to the elevator. Yeah, and as always, Cranberry, just like, uh, I wish you the best of luck. And I definitely, uh, hope for your safety as well. But like I said, um, if you can get some photos and are able to get some, I'd love to see them. And that's kind of, like, separating the myth from reality is kind of the same thing with, like, sword fighting, for example. Like, so many people think, like, uh, sword fighting and sparring and stuff like that, or just the battle itself is, like, Star Wars, essentially, where, um, how do I put this while getting harassed by spiders? Okay. Once I kill these spiders, I will properly explain, because I hate these spiders. They're my least favorite enemy in this entire game. Yes, die. More? You're gonna throw more at me, game? Very well. Not only does the game interrupt me when I'm trying to talk about something important, it throws the worst possible enemy at me in the spiders. If you wanted to anger me, game, you could have just done a lot of different things. Okay, this is actually genuinely frustrating. Just die already, for God's sake! There we go. Yeah, spiders. Anyway, as I was saying, um... Sword fighting is br brutal and dangerous. Skilled sword can kill anyone in split second with the right. 
Well, the truth is, is that sword fighting is not like this, um... It's definitely not like lightsabers where they're intentionally, like, trying to bounce off the other person's saber. Essentially what it is, is, like, you want to kill the opponent as quickly as possible. You want to take them out by any means necessary. You don't, like, bounce off of their sword. If you do clash swords, you try to get off of that and hit them. Um, and that's the biggest misconception about sword fighting is, um... That it's just about, like, hitting each other's swords and all this other Hollywood stuff. But no, it's a lot more, um, in-depth. And, so, and, like, you don't want to clash swords really hardly at all. Like, uh, dang, let me, uh, see. Sorry for the dumb question, what does gender fluid mean? Uh, gender fluid means that um, sometimes I feel more feminine, sometimes I feel more masculine. Um, so there's a fluidity to it. How similar is it to fencing? Well, I can only speak from a Japanese martial arts perspective. Kendo is very similar to fencing. The that make us dance but there's a lot of differences, too. Like, fencing... Um, from my understanding, is more one-handed, like with the rapier, when Kendo is more we submerge through darkness, uh, just two-handed. Hour by hour, we move downward, ever closer to hell, in a slow, steady. Because you don't want to deflect with your sword too much, because it'll just bite. It'll resonate. eat away at your sword. It'll chip it up, and it'll become weaker. So, you don't want to block a blade with the, with the sharp part of your blade if you can't help it. Yeah, I, I'm not touching that, Sarah. I apologize. When we come, we ultimate rule of this wasteland, engulfed with pandemonium. The demonic power. Oh, okay, I think that makes sense, but it's like a clothes preference. Sometimes you want masculine clothes. It's kind of more in general. Like, uh, it's clothing and also personality. The stream is thoroughly hydrated. Drink your fluids, you know. Very well. Yeah, but realistically, though, like a sword fight, to give you a little bit of perspective, it's a serious sword fight usually ends in one or two hits. Like... It's definitely not like the movies where they're just going to get right back up and do the whole Black Knight, like, uh, it's just a flesh wound thing. No, like, for for sure, like, you're definitely, a sword fight's just going to be, like, one or two hits, and then that's going to be it. Oh, no, that's not too personal a question. Like, I'm an open book for the most part. Um... One of the things that I strive to do on my stream is to make everyone feel comfortable, so don't feel awkward about asking a question. Like, I'll let you know if it's something a little too personal. That word doesn't really exist here. Yeah, exactly, Dio. It's, that's, that's a big thing. I also realized I still don't have Swordmaster level 3! It's like Golden Key in Final Fantasy XV. It's like a goal that I will never attain.
Give me that Swordmaster level 3! Please, game. Please give me Swordmaster level 3. Yeah, like, uh... Anything you want to talk about, um, I'm open to. Like, I'll usually let you know if the topic gets a little too crazy. Okay, there's that one. And that one! Yo, what's good, everyone? Hey, Trends! Good to see ya! I'm doing absolutely amazing at Devil May Cry 3, as usual. I totally have gotten hit, like, multiple times. And getting angry at the fact that I still don't have Swordmaster level 3. Oh, and it had to be these things, too. Ugh. I am doing absolutely terrible today. <laughs> but it's also just a side effect of my legitimate liquid rage at the fact the game refuses to give me what I've earned. Swordmaster level 3. I'm not concerned about style, I'm just concerned about getting those points to get the what is rightfully mine! I am literally on mission 16 that has not given me the third Swordmaster level. Here, eat my sword. We were just talking about sword fighting. Here, you can eat my sword, quite literally. Well, I guess just get good or something. Yeah, that's perfect advice. Seems like something you'd hear out of a Dark Souls walkthrough. So how's my week going? Pretty good. So my birthday was on Saturday, and I'm just kind of, this is my first stream after my birthday party. So I've been playing this game for a few weeks now, and uh, hopefully going to finish it tonight. Barring any other issues. Good, I got them both. You do know higher style ranking rewards more points, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> but I'm terrible at video games trends. And I'm just genuinely actually kind of mad that it's literally after all that I've done, it's literally right there. Literally, there is a sliver left, and it will not give it to me, because the game hates me. Yes, I am very angry. <laughs> Happy late birthday. Oh, thank you. game is mad that you're dissing on real-life sword fighting. Well, not dissing on real-life sword fighting, but dissing on the lack of knowledge of real sword fighting. Trusting in Hollywood.
Any good gifts or at least cakes? Yes, I um, I had a confetti cake, and then I used the money that I got for my birthday to get a Valve Index um, headset. So, well, I've got I already had the uh, parts to it. I just needed the headset itself. Um, so I finally completed my VR full body setup because I could use full body tracking in VR before, but. Um, the Index makes it just so much easier, like, when I try to use it with any other headset, it crashes a lot. Hey, Big, good to see ya! It's like the moment that Trends appears in chat, I start doing worse, because he, it's like I'm trying to, like, do good somewhat, so Trends can see, like, okay, I'm not absolute shit at this game. But no, it's like I immediately start doing worse. No, but, like, legit, like, as bad as I do at this game, I have actually beaten this multiple times, and also on the hardest difficulty. Sir, plus Beowulf go. Okay, well, once I get the opportunity to get to a Divinity Statue, I'll switch. Wait, did I already grab the thing? Yeah, I did. I think there's a Divinity Statue in this next room. It's the thighs to take... 90% of the blood flow that sometimes sucks up a little brain power now and again. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough, I'll give you that. Go, got him. You scared? There, I got something stylish out of it. <laughs> you can interpret it however you like, but I've decided upon it being the question of existence. It's, what is going on in my chat right now? I mean, I'll stretch, but I am very confused as to what's going on in my chat at the moment. I guess I've just got to catch up on. Reading. Okay, so what am I missing here? So I saw the loadout thing. So what do you do as a job, if I can ask? Well, I used to be, when I first started streaming, I was actually a camera guy. Um, I did... Oh no, that's my controller! Fuck! <laughs> that means I'm gonna have to do everything with mouse and keyboard now, so... Well... Oh well. Anyway, so I was a camera person. Um, I did uh, camera, teleprompter, audio operations. I did a lot of stuff, but now I just sell um, garden accessories and tools and what have you. You know, you didn't start doing this because you wanted to be a horny tuber. We made you this way, you know. Well, it's not like I'm... I'm not encouraging your behavior, I'm just reacting to the behavior. Uh, okay, so... There we go. 
Cerberus and Rebellion. I caused the problem, but I'm not part of the problem. It's complicated. Eno sells propane and propane accessories. Oh, that seemed nice because you stopped because you didn't like it anymore. Yeah, I stopped uh, primarily because I didn't like it anymore. It was just too much stress. I also realized that because I did because of this, I don't have air hike. But since it's a redeem, I have to do it. Uh... It's <laughs> so I'm a sundere apparently. Sure. Then let, let let's get me like a Japanese schoolgirl outfit, and then we will. Continue this conversation with me being a sooner Ray. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. All these enemies in one room? How about no? Not only that, I've been finally, thank God. I was- I've been relegated to using the mouse and keyboard because my USB controller decides sometimes it's gonna unplug itself and put it into the second slot, and whenever I plug it back in, it will not put it back to the first slot. So that means that I either have a faulty controller, or there's something else going on. But either way, I got Swordmaster level 3, so I'm happy. Forty-two is big, but it's also the reason that it's small. If that makes sense. It has to do with philosophy and understanding. That was your idea, not ours. All right. Well, thank you for the coming to the stream. Um, uh, if you'd like, yep. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for dropping the follow. Um, have a good rest of your night, and thanks for coming in. The Eno Thigh worshiping cult. How about no? Oh jeez, I have to get used to the mouse and keyboard controls again. I am not gonna get any stylish points out of this because... Oh jeez, I forgot how bad these controls are. But I have no choice because the only other way to fix this is to restart my computer. And there's no guarantee that it will last as long as it did. I think big something, and I have an unspoken understanding at this point, that our goal is not to have a deep conversation, but to confuse Eno as much as possible as to what is happening in his chat with our seemingly deep ramblings. <sighs> and hey, Tasty, good to see ya. Chad is teasing me once again. I hear spiders, and I'm not going to... Nope. I'm going to go all the way up here so I can avoid said spiders. No spiders for me. No way. Oh, hey, there's an item here. Vital Star. I could use that. I'm laughing so... Yes, we were teasing you, and I love that Big and I were on the same page without even having to talk about it. We both knew to keep going and tease you. I'm laughing so hard right now. I'm so confused. What is going on with my chat? <laughs> Therefore, my username is less a statement of itself and rather a test of the other person's mind to see in which way they interpret it. Exactly. I know a quality armchair philosopher when I see- What the fuck? I feel like I'm missing, like, the Da Vinci Code or some shit right now. Okay, so... I don't think I have enough for air hike. Yeah. That's the thing that I hated about DMC3 is that air hike you like you have to get it for each individual weapon. And I think that's just really stupid. Oh no, this is the lady boss battle. 
Well, she's not too hard, but at the same time, I'm using mouse and keyboard controls, so. What's wrong? You tired? Then stand back. I'll take care of this. No, you stand back. I told you, you can't do it. Don't you get it? This is not a human's job. You are the one who doesn't get it. It's not something you can reason with. It has nothing to do with me. We'll try restarting the game with the mission. Well, it's not the game, it's the computer. Like, the controller that I have does this. Maybe I should put that in my throne, uh, gifts, is a new controller. Because <laughs> it worked fine when I did, um... I forget what game it was that I used the controller on, but... Um... Okay, lady. Yeah, I don't know. But I can't just sit back yeah. and watch either. I mean, I could try plugging in a GameCube controller and see if that works. Now, get out of my way, or there'll be some consequences. I will genuinely be surprised if this works. And if it does, well... So I plugged in my GameCube USB controller, and if this freaking works, I am going to die laughing. Nope, it does not work. It was worth a shot, though. Okay. Back to the game. God, I hate this control scheme so much. It is so horrible. <laughs> yeah, because... Uh, I don't want to go to the map. And trends made me change to Cerberus and freaking Beowulf with no air hike. This is this is hell. Like no, the game's hell. No, it can't compare to the hell that I'm experiencing right now, courtesy of trends. Oh, why? I wanted a chill street because my head was feeling not so great. But now I deal with this. Gotta get good, buddy. Hey, you wanna switch, man? Like, you wanna try this? You wanna do a freaking mouse and keyboard controls that don't even hardly work? And then switch to weapons you're not... Well, I'm... Well, I'm okay with those weapons, but at the same time. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, love you too, Trends, but I'm still, I am upset. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to use all of my healing items too. I'm trying my best, though. I think I can do this. Nice. Sounds like an excellent opportunity. Rewinding quite a bit. I do intend to take photos. I'm actually supposed to take one for the bring their story of season strawberry. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, probably the priority after this stream, like as far as like technology is concerned, is replacing that controller. Because like uh, on the mouse and keyboard controls, I do have the opportunity to change the camera, but um, it uh, it's just a weird button, and I'm not sure which one it is to do that.
hey, here's a good tip. You have a style button. Yeah, I know. I don't know what button it is because I have to use the keyboard. I'll take care of him. That's like somebody who's like a pro, like MLG gamer or something that has like an Xbox controller that they have like all these fancy um, add-ons to. And then you hand them an N64 controller and say, good luck. That's kind like I'm not comparing myself to an MLG gamer or anything. But it's like, that's the same concept. It's like, I go from a controller that I'm comfortable with to a keyboard control setup that is dog shit. Yeah, but I guess I'm challenging myself. Wait. Trust me. Yeah, I figured you were taking a plushie, not a real cow. Use this. How much is it gonna cost me? You can give me your name. Dante. Where's my head pat button? Well, I just hydrated, so. Dante. I do intend to get like a head pat redeem at some point. Free my father. Because uh, I was looking at VTuber Plus, I just need to make sure that I can run that along with some of the heavier games that I've been playing recently. Because I have to run that and then run it through VC Face as well. So I might try that because it'll give me the option to do a head pat redeem. Because I know that some of you probably want to give me head pats. Because, I mean, look, just look. My head is asking for it. Eno takes off top redeem? What? I mean, I've got the... I've got the bikini outfit, but... Yeah, um... No comment? Thigh stream redeem win? Oh my gosh. What? Is that what you want, chat? Is just me to, like, do the rest of the stream where it's just you seeing my thighs in the camera? Will there be a poll? How about no? Yeah, just, just... And the th oh no, that reminds me, I've got to fight him with this stupid control scheme. <laughs> oh, why? I think you can make this a Patreon reward? but then always have a catch. Yeah, I could, like, take myself off screen. I could just put... You know, when you say you want to see my thighs, like, that just makes me want to... You know what? I'll save that for later. I'll save that for the end of the stream. Three thousand point redeem. Eno reads a not a cultural magazine. It's like <laughs> maybe I should like open up like my own like ASMR YouTube channel or something. Oh, 
Post a picture of roasted chicken thighs. You stole the idea right out of my brain there, Big, because that's exactly what I was planning on doing. I was going to get a picture of chicken thighs put on screen. Attention community, Eno's Rum is currently owned, undergoing a moving experience. From now on, you can join us at OnlyFans.com slash Eno Thighs Rum. What? No! God. I'm horrified. Why? <laughs> I know you do, but at the same time, it's like I'm horrified. Hey, back in here. Come on, Dante, we've got this. what this gives me. I think it's just a blue orb fragment, but it's still useful. Down and out. See, I did something stylish for once. Oh, my hands are so numb right now. <laughs> because I, I have to... To do all of this, I have to press the keys on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, that's why. It's because his fucking health went up. No, there's a clip of it. Why would you do that, Trent? Why? <laughs> Just let me kill this damn boss already. Or this enemy, whatever. It was a boss at the beginning of the game. You gotta be kidding me. I ran right into that. Yep, I'm gonna die.
Yeah, it's because like every time I try to get the stupid switch, it appears right in front of it. And then it does that crap. And then I have to go get the other one. Oh my gosh. Okay, gold orb, that's not really what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Okay, now I can catch up with the chat after that stressful experience. One day when I was talking about training myself for Mailbox Peak, someone said they hoped my boyfriend appreciated the thighs I was getting from training, but my thighs are nothing compared to Eno's. I can't match that kind of perfection! It's actually not a bad idea with the new outfit. By the way, everyone can look at it in the general images in Eno's Discord. We should have the liberty to make an Eno strip redeem with those reasonable points. Those quads. Chat, please. Please. Yeah, but is this clutch going to save me whenever I encounter more enemies? It's like, I'm like in super hard mode right now. Because I'm using the keyboard controls. And then I also have to do this. Oh, but I tell you what, it cramps my hands like real crazy bad. All the demons you're fighting, and none of them are as horny as chat. Do you want me to switch to the bikini model? Is that what you want, chat? <laughs> because if that's what you want, chat... We wouldn't complain if you did. Okay. No, I just got rid of one of those things! Why? This is like my worst day ever! <laughs> no! Oh, god damn it! Oh. <laughs> the worst possible thing. Now, I can only imagine if I was playing on, like, Dante must die difficulty, like, how much worse this would be. All I'm gonna say about this whole thing is that you stand to make a lot of money if you do this right. <laughs> hey, you know how much people pay for feet picks? Imagine bikini ones. Okay, chat, so we'll see. We'll see. How about... I, I use the Divinity Statue to do this, because I know that that's what you want, chat. Let's see, Avatar Selection, and I gotta place it correctly. Let's see if that works. Oh no, that's way too close. I gotta be really careful because I don't want to make this a little too crazy. There, chat. Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Is this is this what you wanted? Are you proud of yourselves? Take off my top? I mean, in VR chat, I could do that. Not here. 
I'd be so into this if I wasn't a girl. <laughs> I'll pay a great amount of money if you were to lower the camera. Uh, how much money are we talking about? Lord help me. <laughs> hey, a blue orb fragment. Actual money. <laughs> But I know exactly what you're gonna do if I give you that privilege. <laughs> because I saw what happened last time, so I know that if I were to move the camera lower, I would immediately see a Photoshop version of myself. <laughs> Just trust me, bro. <laughs> okay, so not only... Am I experiencing the pain of having to use mouse and keyboard controls? I also <laughs> gave in to my chat who was asking to see some skin. So, okay. If not for me, what about them? Oh, don't bring them into this. Here, if Sarah is still in the chat, then there'll be a poll. If Sarah's not in the chat, there will be no poll. And I'm not talking and I'm talking about a poll as in P O L L. Oh, I can actually buy air hike now. But I also don't have anything for vital stars. So I may have just screwed myself. Oh well. Time to fight Jester for the last time and probably die. Pole dance. Welcome to hell. I'm already in hell. Thank you very much. Technically, I don't even have that move, so I'm not sure how I'm able to do it. I think the worst part about the keyboard controls is that sometimes it'll cancel out another attack. Here, here's your pole dancing, chat. From Dante, not from me. Oh great, he's bringing out his big giant ball. No! No! <laughs> Why? Okay, fine. I'll give you that, Dio. Well played. 
but not in the middle of this boss battle. Because I'm probably going to die anyway because I did not get any healing items. And I'm stuck using mouse and keyboard controls. Thank you for being the reasonable one, Cranberry! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to use Gold Horn for this. Goodbye, so you can torture me! <laughs> Maybe I can clutch this, I don't know. If I just keep spamming the guns... Hey! Nope, still got a sliver of health left. There we go! As much as we're joking about it, real talk, I got a greater, appreci greater appreciation for seeing the body as art after my college art class. We did gesture study and they have a nude model. It really has, was helpful in better respecting the body and art. <sighs> Very well, chat. I'll give Dio what he wants. Okay, there you go. That's it. Did you see it? Are you satisfied? Yeah. I said I would do it. I didn't say that I would do it live. <laughs> Gotta get around the loopholes somehow. I mean, technically, you've got perfect ammunition because I posted all those birthday pictures on the Discord chat, Dio. So you've got material to work with. Is it good material? Well, that's up to you to decide. Thank you for giving me health, game. But can you decipher the meaning behind my username? I mean, it's there's something about it, but I can't put my finger on it. It's something big. You could say it's a big something. You're serious right now. One could say so, yes. You've been awfully quiet, Dio. I'm a bit concerned. So what happens when he stretches and every everything gets moving? He's got the bod and the brain. <laughs> oh gosh, I hate the motion blur-esque look that this is giving me. There we go, got through. Without so much as a scratch. I also realized I have to fight um, a 
boss too, so that's not gonna be fun. So the question is the answer, but what is the question? Well, your question needs to be in the form... Your answer needs to be in the form of a question, because that's how Jeopardy does their rules, I guess. Let's look at a combo one there. I think I'm getting used to these controls. I think so. But I think it's mostly just that I have Swordmaster level 3, and I can use that move now. I'm intrigued by what you have to say when like to subscribe to your newsletter. But this is just like, this has been like a ride of a stream and it's only been like an hour and 16 minutes long. Because I, we went from me being terrible at DMC to like suddenly I'm just in, I'm undressed. I'll do a one single large vital star. You got a whole lot of problems today. Yes, I do. And apparently an OnlyFans page that's been opened up about my thighs. You want to write the TV guide? Well, if you got the TV guide, you don't need the TV. Cranberry! <laughs> I know why you're here. You're here to ask me some questions. Well, too bad. I've already answered them myself. I don't need you anymore. Imagine we had an Eno Shadow Rub feel like that. Twice the thickness. try. Well, I'm gonna have to use my vital star, my single vital star. Oh, that one's about to go off. At least I got one good hit in. Fuck, I missed. So when he does that, you can do sort of a Phantom Ganon type tactic where you can hit the thing back at him. Dante, why did you turn around?
How about I just do this? Well, I tanked the hit at least. Try hitting him with my thighs? No! I mean, I get that thick thighs save lives, but at the same time... Aw, oh, man! That would've been so cool had I actually made that. Okay. Is he just gonna keep going for that one over and over? And then I'm gonna tank the hit, because that's usually what I do. Melons? More like oranges. <laughs> Even shadows can't stand crushing of that magnitude? Shadow for a sec. Grapes. Next to black holes, the crushing embrace of Eno's meat logs are the only other thing in this universe not even light can escape from! What? Damn. All I have to say is damn. The gravitational pull is very thick, which means they have an event horizon. Oh, I don't even. I'm not even gonna touch that. No. Not touching that. Not in this universe. Of course. <laughs> no! Of course, once you cross the threshold, you know there's a point of no return. I think you're... I think we're past the event horizon, chat. I think you're already, like, near the end point. I'll touch it if you don't want to. I mean, is are we saying that there's time dilation, too? Oh my gosh. Okay. Time to get some items. Because there's this mission, and then this is the last, like, big mission. The next one is a boss, and the one after that's a boss. So I'm pretty sure that I'll beat the game within the next hour. But really, the, like, serious talk for a minute, I love the soundtrack of this area. It's like, it's very heavenly, even though it's the complete opposite. And this is called the damned chess game, because damn. gonna go for style here. Mostly just gonna take them out as quick as I can. There we go. 
really appreciate the music that handles that sort of duality. You know, this is how you, this isn't how you play chess. Well, yeah, I mean, I could just go right after their king, but oh, uh, how I missed! Damn it! Because I know that if you kill the king quickly enough, it will actually destroy all the other chess pieces. Dante, you literally were right there. How did you miss that, bruh? Maybe I should just do a process of elimination kind of thing. Because if I try to go straight for the king, all the other pieces are just going to harass me. Dante, I swear to god if you miss this, there we go. There we go. See, I did something! I did it! You mean you don't battle the pieces directly? He's just constantly castles. People always theorize black holes have the ability to take you to other universes once you go past the threshold. Nobody's proven it yet, but it makes perfect sense. Anyone who's ever witnessed the fullest extent of Eno's pancake flatteners ended up so blissed out of this world, they might as well have been in another universe. <laughs> Checkmate. No kidding. Because after reading that, I feel like I went to a chess tournament. So, this area... You can actually go and... So, this area here, you fight all the bosses again, but there's actually a specific um, route you're supposed to take. Um, you can you can do it with as few as three, or you can do all of them, if you really want to. So, um, I don't know that I'm going to do all of them this time. Jeez, uh, I think it was Cerberus, Gigapede, and Beowulf. Uh, well... There's, like, a door up here that will tell me. Because, like, the symbol corresponds to which boss it actually is. Because I played this level specifically so many times when I played it on my school laptop. Okay, so it's Beowulf. I think that's Gigapede. So Beowulf's the first one, so I'll fight him. Fight him with his own weapon. This boss rush area is probably where I'm going to use my first gold orb. Oh, come on, Dante. that. 
Oh, I got it, but he's going to hit me. But it was worth it, because that was a lot of damage. It's like I get one, and then the other one hits me. Well, hey, at least after today's stream, I'll say that I have beaten Devil May Cry 3 on stream. And then I can add that to my completed games list. For better or worse. Plus, fighting these bosses, they give you a pretty good amount of red orbs as well, so... That animation lag. Bon story, I used to be a guy... The guy who got around the security of school laptop and stole video games on them. See, I did the same thing. Like, I installed video games on my school laptop, even though I wasn't supposed to. And then I got a hold of an admin password to get completely around it. Long story short, I'm a hacker now. Yeah, for me, it was just that, um, like, they had blocked, um, like, early on, we were able to use, like, emulators and stuff. But after, um, after a while, they ended up blocking the use of emulators on those school laptops. So, we could only really use games that were from, um, executable files or, um, whatever the equivalent for the Mac was. So, like, Minecraft and Fallout New Vegas and a bunch of other stuff. It ran terribly, though. Like, all the games were ran, like, maybe at 10 frames a second. And that was the first time I ever played Minecraft, was on a school laptop. <laughs> yeah, I still have a picture of the MacBook specs that I was using, like, uh, somewhere. But it was, like, a 2009 MacBook. I gotta tell you, this is so much harder with the stupid mouse and keyboard controls! Agony and Tundra. I like how the boss music is distorted, too. And everything's, like, kind of in a black and white-esque color scheme, save for the bosses and Dante. My fingers are getting tired, and so is my upper arm. to spam guns. Nope. Denied. Because the problem is if you take out one of the bosses, they'll actually grab the other sword and then you have to fight kind of like a mega powered up version of him. So it's best to take them out nearly around the same time. Otherwise, you'll have to fight an improved version. 
This would be much quicker if you just fought them with your thighs, streamer. Yeah, I'd love to if I had control of that. Hiking trivia time. I sometimes take quests. What is the most requested type of landscape I'm asked to visit? Um... I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so... Alright, chat, so do you want me to fight all the bosses again, or do you just want me to fight the last one and then continue on to the final boss? The ocean. Hey, the ocean still pretty cool. Again, because I'd love to see the ocean. And then there's my um, increasingly annoying neighbor over to the apartment complex over there that blasts the bass so loud he probably doesn't have any eardrums left to hear it. But yeah, like I said, chat, I can do the rest of the bosses if you really want me to. Um, but I can uh, just do the one and then go straight to the next mission. Okay, see, I think that's... I don't remember which one that is. Is it? Is it Gurion? Because there's like two different colors, so I guess I can try Gurion. And this time I'll actually jump on the carriage. Because see, I had no idea that I could actually jump up there. the other way. Yeah, but this is probably where I'm going to use my gold orb, because he's going to kick my ass. Yeah, I think I might just do um, the three bosses, just because I feel like that'd be faster. Yeah, because, like, Gurion's probably going to end up killing me, and I'm probably going to have to use a gold orb anyway. Yep, there I go. <laughs> yes! You know, Dante, it'd be great if you actually had controls that worked. Because I'd, I'd love it if my controls actually worked when I told them to. Come on, hit! Yes! Now that is a hot VTuber. Hey, Wiz, good to see ya. My chat talked me into doing this, so you can thank them. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm just a bit frustrated because my controller is... Uh, my Xbox controller just is not working, so I had to switch to uh, keyboard and mouse controls for this game, and it's abysmal. It is probably the worst control scheme I have ever used in a game. And it's what I have to use because I have no other ways of controlling the game. Jump, Dante, jump! There we go. Chat knows what's up, but his thighs are so perfect they might break the camera. Well, hey, I tell you what, chat, at the end of the stream, I'll do it. 
I'll do it at the very end of the stream. Because since Cranberry made that observation that they'll break the camera, I mean, that's the only way to end the stream, right? Is to just destroy the stream itself. I have touched the thighs and survived. <laughs> oh, and that was the wrong boss anyway, so, well... Maybe it's Cerberus? Differentiating two different colors that are really similar is difficult for my eyes. So, I, yeah, I think it's Cerberus. Oh yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> my hand and my wrist are in a lot of pain. <laughs> Okay, do I have enough to buy anything? No. He japed us to keep us and teased his viewers to keep us salivating. Well, hey, like I said, just look in the server chat and you will see what you want and you covet so much, chat. Maybe I should post all the pictures I got the other day. Yes, please, Wiz. I'd actually like to see them. Because <laughs> I know Ern took a few pictures, but he never posted them. Don't you know, Eno? It's so much more personal when it's live. Yeah, I know. And that's why I'm denying it. <laughs> Well, until the end of the stream. The end of the stream is when you'll get it. Many people love the interactivity. What, the interactivity of me crushing somebody with my thighs? Sure. I mean, they'll love it for the first few seconds, and then after that, well, they won't love anything ever again. But still, I'm happy about the teasing because it's distracting me from the absolute hell that is this control scheme. Oh, my wrist is in so much pain. Many, at least they'd die happy. Now that you mentioned, I went a couple places the past couple days and did some photography, and I think we'll add to my stock catalog. Almost there, buddy. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. Yes, please. Yeah, like, I'd love to see all the photos. There we go. Now it's just a uh, final stretch. Two more missions. I gotta get to Arkham, and then there's the mission after that. Wiz, no! Why did I, why did I say that? Yeah, I, I got quoted. Yeah, I can try the controller, but like I said, the problem is not so much that... Yeah, the problem is I can plug it in. 
but it puts it in the second, um, like it pretends that it's plugged into player two. So it's like, it's acting as if there's another slot, but the problem is I can't actually fix that. Um, so it, it's either a software issue with my controller or it's just the controller itself because it's more, it's an off brand because I can't afford the real thing. <laughs> But no worries, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. Because I've just got two more missions. And then lots of pain. Walking ASMR. Mission 19, that's just two more missions. This one, and then mission 20. All right. Let's see if I can get some healing items, because I'm not really too concerned about my level up stuff. Just want to get as many heals as I can. Because I've still got that one gold orb left, so if things get a little dicey. on that trickin' mage scroll. Yeah, so... DMC3 is already, like, a really hard game. Because, like, uh... Anyone who's played DMC3 has seen, like, the easy mode is now selecti selectable meme. Because if you lose enough times on normal difficulty, it will unlock easy mode. Because easy mode is not a selectable by default. You have to die like three or four times on normal difficulty before it actually unlocks. Hey, I actually got some style. What's next? Okay, this is the mirror room. So this one's not, this room's not like hard, it's just tedious. You basically have to destroy the mirrors because you can't actually damage these enemies otherwise. It's like right as I get to the mirror, it goes away. Because that's my luck. Mirrors. There 
There we go. Okay, Lurkus is still in school. All right, Wiz. Well, thank you for popping by. I'll probably still be here. Yeah, I think for this one I have to kill the enemies as fast as possible, if I remember right. Dante, come on, we got this. Did I do it? Hey, I did it in time. Woohoo! Feel like I'm accomplishing something. What that thing is, I don't know. But I'm accomplishing something. So if I remember right, I gotta go back to the mirror room with this. Okay, and back through this mirror room. Gib nubs. All right, I will plug in my hand trackers. I actually have to get a new clip for my leap motion because uh, the clip that I'm using is the form of it is like the shape has changed so it doesn't work as intended anymore. Okay, is that the right one? I need to make sure that this is the... Okay, so we're good. Yeah, like, I like the leap motion. Uh, whoops. So I actually use the leap motion to close out of the game. <laughs> well, it's still here. It's just, like, for a second there. Like, I like it. It's cool. But I don't like the limited range of motion it has. Like, I'd like it just a native webcam tracking thing that isn't, like, all buggy. Because, like, this is, like, because the way that I'm, my keyboard is, it's like I'm, it, it's, like, my hands are doing a weird thing. But yes, you get the nubs. So, now you'll get to kind of experience, chat, what, how uncomfortable playing with the mouse and keyboard controls is. Because you'll see, like, how contorted my hands are. Alright, let's see here. Buy another vital star. I've still got that gold orb, so if Arkham kicks my ass, well, I've got another opportunity. Less talking, more removing the top. You mean this top? This one right here? It's like staring up into a backed up toilet. Why do you always stick your nose in other families' business? Come on, dude. Don't you have any hobbies? Well, you see, Dante, his hobby is sticking his nose in other families' business. Oh, my glasses? Well, I would. Well, technically, IRL, my glasses are off. See, it looks like Cranberry, you and Big are on the same wavelength this.
So, technically final boss. Dude, my father wasn't so hideous. With the worst control scheme possible. You looking at me? Anyway, that shape suits you better. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. Alright. Get more bass from my aggressive neighbor playing that bass. Okay, so I hit it, but no damage. Thanks, Dante. Aggressive base neighbor. Yeah, see, they're not even in the same apartment complex as me. They're across the... Like, kind of, like, behind a fence across the street. But, like, every night, like, probably... Like, sometimes it's as late as 11 o'clock. Sometimes it's as early as now, which is 9.03. They will just play obnoxiously loud music with bass that's, like... Anyone who'd be near that, would, their eardrums would be rupturing. Dante, less beam, more of that. Vital Star. Worst comes to worst, I'll just go back into one of the earlier missions and just get more orbs. Because Arkham is a fairly hard boss. ran right into that. Is the power my thighs? Because yes, chat cannot handle it. Making a big dramatic entrance and stealing my spotlight. What? You don't possibly believe that he deserves to be our main event now. Now that you mention it, you're right. Should come to realize you cannot control the power of Sparta. 
You're wasting your time, buddy. Your evil twin who wants your powers. I think he needs to learn the hard way. Battle of Brothers. Show Arkham the true power of the Sons of Sparta. Virgil follows Dante's lead, but still spins off his own special style of ass-kicking. Press the B to call Virgil to your... The B to call Virgil to your side. You cannot utilize demon form while fighting with Virgil. No, this applies to the default control configuration. All right, Virgil, come on. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get killed by these stupid snake things. Yep, I'm gonna get a gold orb here. <laughs> it's okay though, because I if I get a gold orb here, that's completely fine. Yep. Yep, I still have a gorb. Easy mode is now selectable. Fuck you, game. Because I'm gonna go for a rebirth and get all my health back. So I think I'm just gonna go with the strategy of shooting these guys from up here because they're really annoying when they crowd up on me like that. So Virgil, how about you use that DMC5 move set instead of your DMC3 one? That would help a lot. Oh, I'm playing as Virgil. No, I'm so close, no! Come on, why? Yeah, you know what, Trends? That would be great advice if I was at a divinity statue! Oh, I'm gonna fucking die to these things. God damn it. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Okay, I'm gonna go to a previous mission and get some orbs, because that was genuinely frustrating me. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace. Trends, do you want to be timed out? Because that's how you get timed out. No, I appreciate the little white lies. <laughs> I also can't do anything either. Like, the game has just locked up on me. Like, it's completely locked up. I can't do anything. Okay, so, you know what, chat? So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and restart my computer and get the controller, because, like, the, this, the game has completely locked up on me. So, I will be right back. Um, the stream will end, but I will just restart it. So, I will be right back. <laughs> 